section D starts from the page number 50 but it's all theory we'll start the calcul uh, calculation from the question number 7 the price of a three items among five fuels items increased by 50 percent 90 percent 110 percent in the year 2015 as compared to the base year 2014 the price of the other two items decreased by five percent and two percent respectively in the ratio of importance of these five items are five four three two one find the index number of fuel price for the year 2015 now to find out the index number you can see the importance ratios are given it, uh, it means weighted weight is given and here they are asking about there are total five fuel items in the question number seven so as per this just prepare the table obviously for the index number if the weight is given this is what we are going to start the calculation let's put the five items after putting five items just check that out of the five the three items has been increased by 50 percent 90 percent and 110 percent i'm just taking this column to write down 50 90 and 110 percent in the year 2015 as compared to the base year 2014 and the price of the two items decreased that is five percent and two percent so these all are going to increase and this is what going to be reduced now that's what the percentage increase and reduced so here the percentage will be calculate with the base year here always we take base year as 100 so here it would be 100 plus increase in 50 percent so here comes our i with 150 same as for next 100 plus increase in 90 percent comes to 190 100 plus 110 becomes 210 and 100 minus 5 percent means 100 ka 5 percent matlab 5 get minus you will get 95 percent here same for the 200 minus 2 here we get 98 and for the weighted in the question it is given 5 is to 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 now that's how our table is ready for the i columns and the weight column here we'll find out iw by getting it multiply 150 into 5 here we get 750 next 190 multiplied by 4 760 210 multiplied by 3 630 95 multiplied by 2 190 98 multiplied by 1 that is 98 and here we get the total of this column is 2428 and the total of weight is 15 now let's put the formula here i is equal to sigma i w divided by sigma w so here the total 2428 divided by 15 and the answer is 161.87 that's the index number of fuel price moving to the next question number eight find the fixed base index number from the following data about the average annual income of worker in a company from the year 2008 to 2014 take the base year as 2008 now first let's take all the information in the table now here they have declared base year is 2008 so the base will be all time will be 36 index number that is current year p1 divided by base year multiplied by 100 that's what we learn in exercise 1.1 so here comes 36 divided by 36 into 100 obviously the answer will be 100 next is current year 40 and the base year 36 multiplied by 100 here we get 1.11 current year 48 divide by the base year multiply by 100 and we'll continue with for the remaining information this is how we'll complete the remaining information moving to the next question the index number of average closing price of share of certain company in different month with the base year january 2014 are as follow now here they told you to find out chain base index number 
this is what the information let's take into the table we are after getting it ready now here the form don't forget to write down the table and also highlight the formula for the chain base that is fixed base index number current year divide by fixed base index number of preceding year into 100 so here we start with the calculation current year is 100 preceding year as usual not given so here we get the answer 100 next current year is 104 Proceeding here 100 multiplied by 100 here we get 104 current year 105 proceeding here 104 multiply by 100 that is 100.96 again we will continue for, it for the remaining here we complete the question number 9 with the remaining information next question Find the fixed base index number from the chain base index number given below. Now here the conversion question for the question number 10. Here the table is ready with all the information given in the question. Again you have to write down the formula as they told you to convert chain base into fixed base. Formula is current year chain base index number multiplied by preceding year fixed base index number divided by 100. So let's start. Current year chain base index number is 120 multiplied by the preceding year fixed base index number as it is not given we will take it as 100 divide by 100 both will get cut here remain 120. Next for 2012 current year chain base index number is 90 multiplied by preceding year fixed base index number that is 120 divide by 100 here we get 108 next year 2013 chain base index number current year chain base index number is 140 and preceding year fixed base index number is 108 divide by 100 here we get 151.20 next 125 for the current year preceding year fixed base 151.20 Divide by 100 and the answer is 180. Next, question number 11. Find the chain base index number from the following data regarding the price of an item. Now, out of this information, we just have to remove chain base index number. For this, just take all the information in table and don't forget to write down the formula. Now, here, here we'll take the current year price is 40. Preceding year preceding year price is not given so here we will again take 40 multiply by 100 here the answer remain 100 next for the 2010 current year is 45 and preceding year is 40 multiply by 100 here comes 112.50 current year 48 preceding year 45 into 100 here we get 106.67 remaining i'll continue here remaining information has been calculated from the question number 11 moving to the next question find the cost of living index number from the given information for the month of april 2015 regarding the group index number and weight of an item of living of index worker sorry industrial worker here the groups are given index number and weight the ready information is given so here just we have to find out the weighted so here all the information took into the table the group index number and weight as per the given information in the question here we have to prepare only one column one more column for iw so get it multiplied 247 multiplied by 44 here we get 10868 167 multiplied by 20 that is 3340 129 multiplied by 16 4144 196 multiplied by 6 that is 1176 212 multiplied by 10 that is 2120 253 multiplied by 04 that is 1012 here we get the total that is 22660 and also we need the total of weight that is 100 let's take the total in the formula that is 22660 divided by 100 and the answer is 226. Six. Moving to the next question.
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन इफ सिग्मा पी वन क्यू जीरो एंड सिग्मा पी जीरो क्यू जीरो इज इक्वल टू फाइव इज टू थ्री एंड सिग्मा पी वन क्यू वन इज टू सिग्मा पी जीरो क्यू वन इज इक्वल टू थ्री इज टू टू कंप्लीट द लेस्पर्स पासली एंड द फिशर इंडेक्स नंबर नाउ द इंफॉर्मेशन विच इज गिवन इज ऑलरेडी यू कैन सी द लास्पर्स फॉर्मूलाज कनेक्टेड टू द लेस्पर्स का फॉर्मूला एंड दिस इज कनेक्टेड टू द पार्शलीज फॉर्मूला सो लेट्स टेक इन टू द क्वेश्चन सोल्यूशन Here I took the Lasper's formulas, and you can see that sigma p one q zero and sigma p zero q zero is five is to three. Means p one q zero is five, and p zero q zero is three. So take them all into the solution. Here we get one sixty six point sixty seven. Same for the partially. P one q one that is three, and p zero q one is two. That is three upon two into hundred, and here we get the solution one fifty. So here we already get the Laspers and the Pashley. It's easy to find out Fisher's. Take their answer in formula. That is one sixty six point sixty seven for Laspers and the Pashley is one fifty. Get them multiply. Here we get two five. Zero 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 point five. Remove the root of this. You will get one fifty eight point twelve. Moving to the next question number fourteen. If the ratio of Laspers and the Pashley index number is four is to five and the Fisher index number is one fifty, find the Pashley index number. As you can see, the ratio of Laspers and Pashley is given four is to five and They also ask you to solve the partially index number. So let's take all this information on table. That is, Laspers is to partially is equal to four is to five. So the information will be something like this. If we take into the equation four upon five, and for taking the value of Laspers, it would be four upon five multiplied by Partially. Next, here the Fisher's information is given that Fisher's is one fifty, and as in the question they ask you to find out partially's value. So let's take all them where all three formulas come together. That is the Fisher's formula under the root Lasper's multiply by partially. Fisher's value is given one fifty. Lasper's equation we found that is four upon five into partially, and here the other than the one partially. If I take this root on one fifty, that is four upon five into whole square. Let's remove the value of one fifty whole square. Here we get. Two two five double zero is equal to four upon five into partially square. If I take the equation over here, that is two two five double zero. It would be five at the top and four. Take the uh, remove the partially value here. First, after the calculation, we get the answer. Just remove the root of two eight one two five. You will get the answer. Here we finish the section D moving to the next section E